My story is that um, I started a coffee shop and I worked about 60 to 80 hours a week, which is quite a lot of um, hard working hours standing on your feet anyway. So first of all I thought it could just be the hard work that I was doing that I started to get really sore feet and so I went to the professional and because my feet were just so sore and he gave me the orthotics to wear, which didn't help whatsoever, that was $300 later. And so I started to investigate what could, could possibly be so painful, probably within the month I was in total pain. And so I went to doctor to doctor and I couldn't really work out what it was. And in the end I found a doctor that um, diagnosed me with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, which normally goes hand in hand apparently. And um, even though that was good news to know what I really had, the bad news was that there really wasn't any cure for it. And um, he didn't even want to make another appointment to see me really because he didn't really have any answers for me or hoping it would get better. So uh, I was quite devastated. I was going to live with this pain, my constant pain, um, for the rest of my life maybe. I checked it on the internet. There is not really anyone that can tell you what to do. So in the end I couldn't cope with working. I couldn't any longer hold a teaspoon or, or get the coins out of my teal or carry any coffee cups or do the washing up without agonizing pain in my body. It's not easy to be a friendly person in, <laughs> in a place with customers in that kind of pain. And so we decided to sell my shop and um, just try to rest and see how it would go, you know, eating well and have vitamins and all that sort of thing. Still nothing happened not, and my Christian friends prayed for me plenty of times and I came to the place where I didn't actually want any more prayer. People did say very cruel things trying to help me. Um, a lot of people would say, look, you must be out of God's will. That's why you have this condition. It's your own fault. Um, or a, a dark, deep sin somewhere and that's why you're in this and God doesn't heal that and whatever. So it almost became, I almost got scared that people would pray for me because I would get so upset about it and realising that nothing would happen. However, John came to my church. When he started to speak that night, the very first thing he said was that 95 to 98 percent of cases of fibromyalgia get healed when he prays. I'm sure that God just put that in his mouth because he never normally do this. And just something rose up in me. I thought, oh, this is my night. This is what I've been waiting for. God's going to heal me tonight. You know, I just have to hang around here and God heals me. I'm not going home. And I also knew that other people in that church had the same situation I, I was in and I thought well if she doesn't want hers 98% I'll have that you know I have the percent that nobody else wants. When John asked people to come out for prayer for those people that were in pain um, I was actually dreading how long I might have to stay there because just getting out of the pew at the time was painful in itself and then standing up for a long period of time was extremely painful and so I walked up there and trying just to focus on, you know, God, not on the pain. Uh, even though, I, you know, sometimes coming through your mind is like, could you please hurry up and pray for me because I'm in so much pain. And I just hang out for God. I just really just wanted to soak in everything he had for me. And I started to have this sensation of a warm, honey feeling going up and down my body as John was praying. And I thought, oh, great, God is doing something. I'm just going to soak it all in. I'm not leaving this spot. By the end of the night, I was one of the last people to leave. <laughs> and I went back to my husband in, in, in the chair and I said, guess what, I've been totally healed. And I, I got his arm and I squashed it as hard as I could. I just grabbed him and he said, you have all your strength left. You haven't had strength in your hands for so long. And my husband thought, great, we're going to renovate the house. <laughs> he got me to work and he got me to paint ceilings with undercoat, you know, three days later after I got healed. And, I haven't had that pain or, or that chronic fatigue or anything since then. And now when I go to John's meetings quite often I get to share my testimony and I get to see so many other people with the same problem I had. I give them the hope that God will do the same for them and, and so often he does. And so I've actually seen my old customers being healed from fibromyalgia which I had never would have seen otherwise. Your healing in my personal views never really just for you it's just a new tool for you to use for other people and that's what i see as a privilege